so officially uh, let me all welcome you all guys for the today's session on the firewalls so first let before we see what are these firewalls first let's see what is the necessity of this firewall so in this Basically, we have so many threats from the external world. As I said in the previous session itself, until unless you don't connect your system or your computer to the internet or simply let's say that network, you will be very free. You will not be having any risk. When you connected to the internet or when you connected to the network, then only there is a kind of internet. Sorry, then only there is a kind of risk. See, you can think in the other way. let us take up the current situation itself when you go and when you go and interact and are mingle with someone in the current society then you may think about that some kind of virus which is a current covid virus may attack you that's what some kind of malware or some kind of negative energy may pass on to you that is when when you go to somewhere when you connect to somebody when you connect to someone in the society then you may think about the all that uh, negative changes which may occur but when you don't go out at all when you are stuck on to your home when you don't go at all when you, you when you don't talk to anybody when you go and uh, meet anybody in such case so there is no problem at all in our network scenario also we do say that if your device is not connected to the network when your device is not connected to the internet there is no problem at all but you can't make your device to be idle you can't make it make your device to be idle without connected to the network without connected to the internet why exactly in the sense if your device is not connected to the network or when your device is not connected to the internet then there will not be any kind of communication it's something like whatever the data you have in your device you can't send it to other device you even you can't receive from some other device that's what if at all if you are if you want to have a communication to the external world your device must or should be connected when it is connected when it is connected however there is a good things at the same time there will be bad things as well there will be a plenty of bad things which will come to you come to you it is as same as it is as same as try to understand in the normal way itself when you try to communicate with somebody that fellow may tell you the fellow may keep telling you so many things but from all that it is your mind has to decide which to take or which to neglect so i mean it is as same as whatever i said till now so i may be keep on telling you so many stories i may be keep on giving so many instructions but which instruction to be followed and which instruction to be neglected it is left to you in the same way so that kind of decision making has to happen when there are so many requests from so many some so many people uh, which is external people so there should be something decision making has to happen some kind of decision making has to happen at your side so who do that so who do that with respect to our network or with respect to our device so there is a question mark who are, who is going to do that decision making which is best which is not best because there are so many requests which are coming to me so so many people are telling me so many things but which should i take it and which i should which should i neglect it so there are so many uh, such kind of cases the one solution which we came across with the uh, is is like a firewall that is what however we ourselves will have a wall it is something like what i mean to say wall in our in our human nature in a sense it is something like for what are all the things you should give you here and we, for what are all the things you should avoid there are there will be a plenty of things where you have to listen them carefully listen to that that's what either whenever the somebody is somebody is telling to you so there is there should be a kind of decision making should be made by you for which you should you try to hear that and which you should block that's what where you will not give ear to that so in the same way in our network or in our device also when there are plenty of requests from the outside world which is the outside world it is nothing else the internet world if there are plenty of request to my device from the outside world or from the internet so it is there should be some kind of a wall a restriction place it's just like entry level checking check at the entry level you can say it as a gate so that gate that entry level checking where you should you should make a decision such a way that which to make you which you can make it enter which you need to block it it is as same as your college gate 
you can think it as asmas college gate see again with respect when you take about the, uh, think about the college gate there the college, so if there will be security fellow who can who will do that entry level checking there are the, there will be plenty of people will be coming if that fellow is really authenticated your security fellow will not object that that fellow he will just allow him who who is allowing is the authenticated fellow in the sense he will just allow him if he is uh, is not authenticated fellow in the sense definitely he will not allow you will just reject that entry that's what he will he will not allow that so such kind of you just try to analyze that in the same way however we do make use in our real life this kind of entry level checking in our networking and in our device also we do have this kind of firewalling that is what we say that firewall so there will be a yeah here in this example you can assume so the there is between the internet between the internet and your device so here the device may be one device here the device may be one device or multiple devices connected through the router or which is a connected device so for this between this this is a very very important security wall it is a security wall which is a firewall so how we, as a perspective of defining i can say it as firewall is the effective means of protecting very importantly protecting what you are not protecting your internet you think in the different way you, this by using this firewall you are not protecting your internet you are by using your firewall what you are protecting you are protecting your local network your local network that local network may be having one device like my computer right now or i may be having a lab for the complete lab i may be establishing a single firewall it is is possible when i have a single firewall for the complete lab where you, where i have multiple systems or i may be having a separate firewall for my device so like that my local device or my local network may be having a single device or multiple devices and I'm, my wishes so my wishes to con to uh, secure my lan or my local network not the not the internet so that's what in this perspective you have to understand one thing this firewall is used to uh, secure this this local devices local devices or local network not the internet right so whatever the request which will come from the internet that those has to be entry level checked by the firewall before you allow inside to these uh, local network or local devices again this uh firewall so it is also defined in the different way you can think about that so firewall is a very important firewall is a program or the hardware because we say that so whether it is a firewall is a software or the hardware in a sense it is both that's we are going to see in the further slides you can understand better so firewall is a program or the hardware device that very very importantly you see this term it it actually filters it actually filters the incoming incoming request or incoming data flow it is incoming data flow or incoming request will be filtered at, at the firewall so this firewall will filter the request from the internet which is coming to the this local network or the local devices so that is what the um, a simple uh, definition of the firewalls you can take up then later let's see whether it is a hardware or the software whether do you consider the hard, firewall as a hardware or software in a sense we have the feasibility of using the firewalls as both hardware and also the software firewall that is what here i just put it as a one slide as hardware firewall and the software firewall but if you ask me which is hardware which is software firewall in the sense again let me go back to this you just see this this is the firewall this is the firewall where the firewall may be implemented at this connecting device level this connecting device level which is this connecting device you may think about the simple uh, router if the firewall is is established at the this hardware level which is the hardware it is it is here it is router if the firewall is implemented at this router level which is the single firewall or the same firewall which can give a, a protection to the all the devices which are connected to this that's what i will call as hardware firewall what about the software firewall that is what the individual system level it is individual system level so this device will have a different firewall this so if there are four devices in your networks in the sense there should be four software firewalls for the four devices that's what 
hardware firewall and the software firewall as well you can uh, you can observe right here this hardware firewall is actually integrated in the routers once it is integrated in the router then whatever all the devices connected to that router which will be protected from the internet that is what you say it is integrated to the router that sits between the computer and the internet so wherein once after this hardware firewall is uh, provided in the router the, that actually protects the entire network which is connected to that router and again as usual this already said it is implemented at the router level whereas this is more expensive because it is you is you are dealing with the hardware you are as you are dealing with the hardware as you are dealing at the hardware level so it is expensive when it comes to the softwares when it comes to the software firewall this is at the individual machine individual server so when you are installing or when you are uh, providing at the individual server so which only protects the single computer it is not going to protect the all the devices remember it is going to be protecting the single computer and obviously the as you are dealing with only single devices so definitely the expense is also less so i hope you are getting this so the firewall the definition of the firewall and the working of the firewall we are going to see further in detail but again the firewalls can be as a hardware firewalls and the software firewalls so wherever it, whenever you implemented with the uh, hardware which is like connecting hardware like a router so when it is implemented with the router which you got as a hardware firewall once it is uh, implied implemented with the hardware router then what are all the devices connected to that router all those are protected all those are under the control of this firewall because this firewall itself is configured with the uh, sorry this router itself is configured with the firewall so whatever the device connected to this are protected what about the software firewall which usually we do make use with the servers not with the individual machines so with respect to the server so you you where you may be having a separate kind of firewalls for the separate different kind of servers based on the kind of request so we'll be having the different kind of firewalls we may be implemented or implanted with the uh, servers where that is only for the, the system perspective if at all if there is this one uh, firewall in the server in the sense that is only for that system it is not going to for the control the complete network that's what we say it does it is to protect a single computer because it is in, installed in the individual device or individual server so it is going to control only that computer not everything so in that perspective you classified as a hardware firewalls and the software firewalls again let me go to the and here again you supposed to know one more thing which is something like host based firewall and network based firewall so this host based firewall and network based firewall it is what uh, calling these hardware firewall and the software firewalls in the different way which is put in the different perspective based on the application as host based firewall and the network based firewall again as usual the name itself specifies host based firewall which is installed on what individual computer it is installed on the individual computer whatever the network based firewall it is not it is not installed on the individual computer so wherein it is it may be installed in the separate device however i said as a router so when you install in separate device which can give that entry level checking so whichever there is a uh, there are multiple requests from the external so which will be firewalled or controlled or filtered at the entry level to the network itself so based on this you can make it out one very important point as that firewall can be used to protect an individual device or the set of devices if at all if you think about controlling or protecting only individual device then that is where you call it as host based firewall so when you think about controlling the set of devices then host based firewall is not enough you should have the network based firewall because all those set of devices must be connected in network so you need to secure all these secure all these devices so you need the uh, network based firewall so that's what we say um, host based firewall and the network based firewall then here comes basically uh, we are just classified the functionalities of the uh, firewall into the three rules we said as firewall rules 
what exactly is here you see from this diagram also you can make it out this is the internet and this is what my client mission between that there is a very important firewall now what is happening in the sense whatever the request which is sent by the client or it can be through the internet there will be there will be a you say it as authenticated requests you said as authenticated data flow or authenticated a traffic flow that will be actually allowed directly without having any problem so those will be allowed that is what you say you said as allow so it is that's what again i'll, I'll consider with respect to our, your college gate something like if if you are a authenticated student your security fellow will not object you to get into the college he will just allow you either you may be going inside or going out you may be going inside the college or you may be going out of the uh, outside to the college so you will not uh, reject that you you are free to go because you are authenticated so that's what there will be set of requests which are allowed directly which are we got as deemed uh, request or in the other way say that authenticated requests whereas there will be a set of requests which are block so there will be a there will be a block a uh, request which is uh, i mean it's a block rule where the, the so set of requests which will be blocked because they are not they are not uh, they, they are not the authenticated request and the, the it is again if i assume with respect to the gate, college gate itself the college security fellow he will assume that he is not belongs to that college that college when he is not belongs to the, that college he can make two decision i mean so there are two options understand out of the three rules first rule is when if there is a one fellow either it can be student or the employee so if he if the security fellow feels that that college he is belongs to that college in the sense he will definitely hello so the second thing is second case when the there is a fellow who is not belongs to the college because he doesn't have the respect to identity so when he is not belongs to the college again the security fellow can make a make a any of the two decision what are the two decisions one is that definitely you may reject that fellow that's what block that fellow without entering to the college second option is second option is he may think that he may think that he is a visitor he is not going to he harm the college see which are all the cases would be a block which is when he feels that when the when the firewall feels that it is dangerous to your computer however the security fellow feels that the 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 guy who came near the gate he is not student and he is also looks very dangerous to the college he is not that good so in such case the security fellow he can directly send him back he can directly send him back that's what he can block such kind of request whereas the third case which asks which is also very important so when this ask came to the picture in the sense again as usual a security fellow uh, is working and there is one new new person came whereas that new person is not belongs to the college but he may be visitor to the college or he may be the some relative to the one person who may be working in the college so in such case what the security fellow will do he will just ask the respective representative so something like if i am the one who is working in the college and if some relative my relative came to the came to the college but the security fellow first ask first should uh, security fellow should ask me first so say, saying that sir a particular uh, fellow came near the gate should i allow him inside the college or not so that kind of asking that's what inquiring clarification should happen then only whether to allow or not that decision should be taken that is what the third case which is ask so that will definitely as the respective process so that that's what firewall will also have this kind of things which is where there will be a see for suppose my uh, again let me come to my de uh, device level so if there is a particular email or if there is a particular uh, request to my device in the sense if that is authenticated request in the sense firewall will not block it will allow i will get that on my screen that's what i will get into my pop up so second case is that i the request may be blocked permanently if those requests are from unauthenticated unauthenticated network so those will be blocked sub, uh, permanently third case is that there will be a chance something like you know i will get a pop up saying that there is a request from so and so server you want me to allow that request you want me to open that request again it is based on me if i say yes if i click yes then that request will be opened because the firewall is going to give you warning as well the firewall is going to caution you as well saying that the particular request is from so and so server so this is this may harm you harm your device as well you want me to allow this or not 
if i say allowed then only it will be allowed if not it will not be allowed so like that based on that the firewall rules are categorized as the three rules i can say it as allow block and the ask next is that yeah this is a very simple thing uh, so you suppose to know is something like what and all the things can be done by the firewall and what are all the things cannot be done by the firewall so the, all this i said uh, till now so which is something like focus on the security decisions decision making so uh, policies there will be set of policies on that itself you can need to decision making again you need to limit your exposure you should not uh, uh, say uh, you should not be a global then last one is something like it can also lock to the internet activity so this all these things i said but this is what very important point you supposed to know is something like what are all the things where the firewall cannot do it so in that perspective remember firewall cannot protect with respect to the malicious softwares or malicious insiders whatever we studied in the previous uh, sessions if you remembered so either it can be virus that's what i again i have put here why your uh, uh, firewall you are cannot protect it from the virus or you say that malicious insiders and also when it cannot protect the connections that don't go through it what exactly i mean to say don't go through it i that is what again elaborated in the third point as well it is new threat see what exactly this second and third point means to say that in a sense when i installed or when i uh, configured my device with respect to some firewall i that firewall may be having a set of rules that that firewall may be having set of security policies but later on the malicious hackers the malicious hackers or malicious uh, attacks may be updated one but i didn't update i i didn't upgrade my firewall so in such case definitely my fi my firewall is uh, will not be helpless my firewall will be helpless to uh, control such kind of upgraded attacks so that is what i mean to say which uh, those are the things which cannot be done by the firewall and these are the things which can be done by the firewall again uh, moon to the next uh, uh, yeah guys any queries till now uh, can anybody respond any queries till now no sir okay if that is the case next we will move on to this design principles so coming to the design principles it is something like whenever you are talking about the fire till now i said about what are all things can be done now i am talking about whenever you are designing the uh, firewall so what are all things you should uh, have in your mind the first and first foremost is that study evaluation that's what i said from uh, whenever it is not that i just i had configured my device with the firewall in the 2010 so i you can't think that it will be worked for the life span no so however you will be, yeah, there there is a necessity of upgradation so because of the so many changes which are happening in the internet so there is a necessity of upgradation as well second thing is that so whenever whenever you are building whenever you are talking about the hack client server communication that should work station and the servers so with respect to that you should have the strong security features so you should have the uh, strong security features as well and third thing is as usual you will be inserting the firewall you will be inserting the firewall with respect to the network and the internet that's what in between the net in between your uh, your uh, local network and the internet so that is what the third thing so whenever you uh, what are the aims you should have at the time of establishing this firewall in the sense so obviously your link should be uh, uh, controlled that's what i established the control link so again you need to protect your premises that's what your main aim that's what i said at the beginning itself your main goal is to protect your network from the internet you are not protecting internet from your network i want to protect my device from the internet i'm not protecting the internet from my device so that is what i say protect your premises network premises from the internet based attacks and third which is very very important provide a single choke point so what exactly is this single choke point in the sense something like how from that time i am talking about entry level checking entry level checking but when i talk about entries in the sense if there is only one entry that is somewhat secured enough when you compare to the multiple entries what i mean to say it is something like for a, again let me take up our college campus itself if there is only one gate 
if there is only one gate through that itself everybody has to enter in a sense it will be very strong enough where the security fellows can keep monitor the the incoming people and take the decision and it will, it can be a strong enough but for the same campus if you think about there are 10 or more than more than that's what multiple doors are there or multiple ways where the people can enter to the um, college campus that's what when there are multiple ways the people can enter so in such case the that checking process will be hard because it is not you the that monitoring will be very difficult so that is in that perspective itself so we make sure that we need to make sure that there is a single place single point or the single access point from where the request will actually come from so, and that will be monitored by the firewall as well so these are the simple three aims of your a firewall are uh, implementing the firewall then next is that uh, characteristics see under this characteristics first and foremost let's see about the design goals so here i said about the these are the design principles and these are the design aim firewall aim what are the firewall aim now it is design goals there is a slight difference from the goal and the aim see so this uh, under this goal the first and foremost thing you can see that the traffic which is from inside to the outside remember it is inside to the outside can pass through easily it is inside to the outside can pass through easily only few cases may be blocked what i mean to say it's something again let's take up uh, the college example itself i hope you are understanding better if i am giving the college example with respect to college example the security fellow will be much bothered for the fellows who will be entering from outside to the inside the security fellow may not much bother about who will be going from inside to the outside the student is, student or the employee who is going outside to the sorry inside to the outside will be freely allowed only in few cases only in few cases we may block you that is when you think that somebody might have entered but he is not belongs to your uh, premises that's what is not belongs to your is not authorized in such case only he will uh, block you will stop you if not for everyone he is not going to stop you when who is entering who is going from inside to the outside campus i mean say he is passing from inside to the outside but what about the reverse case when he is when the fellow is passing from outside to the inside will be definitely will be checked by the security so that is what that all the traffic from the inside to the outside must pass through the firewall so it can happen only few will be blocked only few will be blocked second thing is that only authorized traffic this is very important that's what whenever you are passing from outside to the inside when you are, you are passing from outside to the inside definitely you should be you he should be verified you should be uh, uh, i mean say he has to be monitored and verified the if he is authenticated then only you allow them that's what only the authorized traffic only the authorized person only the authorized request will be allowed inside so that is the second the third five third point is very very important i want you to know firewall itself is immune to the penetration what exactly is this in the sense so this is just like you are i'm talking about the security fellow from that time again let me take up the same example as security fellow he himself should should not be immune he himself should not be a destructive purpose to the college what i mean to say he has to be he has to work properly if there is a, some person who is who came to the gate who is who is not who is unauthorized in the sense the security fellow should not allow him inside the college just because of some other commitments he should not allow him inside that's what security fellow he himself should not be destruction to the college so that's what firewall itself should not be a, a immune for the penetration of the such kind of attacks or such kind of request into the device so how to make sure that so that's the it is how to make sure that there should be a, some other controller who can keep monitoring the security fellows here it will be monitored by the operating system so that's what use of trusted system with the operating system it is very very important that is those are the three design goals whenever we will be designing the uh, firewall and the last topic for today's session it is what i would like to highlight on the four very important techniques used by the firewalls so however again i'll i'll check it out so i see four ways something like you know uh, again if i compare with the uh, security gate below so how do how we how we can identify whether the student is the belongs to the college itself or not so first and foremost in the normal way he can just look into the id card 
second thing if you if he doesn't have the id card then he may think about looking to the some other some other some other credentials of the user they based on that he may allow him if there is a new user just like a visitor so based on what he the security fellow has to decide whether he is a visitor or not based on the information given by the faculties or any employee so like that there are the different modes of firewalling based on the uh, there are different ways of uh, firewalling i say are uh, that monitoring so our verification process in the same way this firewall there are the with respect to firewall also there are four network uh, firewall techniques so which is something like service control direction control user control and uh, behavior control so among these something like service control uh, direction control user control and the behavior control among these first and foremost thing let's take about the service control it is something like for what purpose in the other way yeah what is that uh, in in this case it's something like type of the internet service from which type of the internet service you are getting from so that is it accessible or is it something like is it going inbound or outbound something like is it request from inside to the outside or outside to the inside so that again we are going to elaborate in the direction control as well whether it is the see when you talk about the service control when i talk about the service control again let me uh, uh, take up the example like from where exactly the request is coming from from where exactly the, uh, the request is coming from which is some that's what you said that from which network security or from which internet security from which internet service so that is what service control next is direction control it is something like you know whether it is moving that's what whether it is moving from outside to the inside or inside to the outside so there the with the request which will be more moving from outside to the inside will not be uh, monitored in the same way from out inside to the outside there is a difference the third case is something belongs to the uh, user control so just give me a minute yeah so i said about the service control uh, direction control so what about the user control in a sense again so which user is trying to attempt for the communication which user is trying to attempt for the communication so it is something like again so for the, with respect to the college again if you take up which is who is the user whether he is a student or the faculty or any other employee or anybody else so based on that also there will be based on the user also there will be yet the checking process will be different something like if he is a just like again assume if he is a uh, employee the the kind of uh, security fellow how he is going to treat the faculty members for uh, checking the entry level so it will be different for the students it is different for the outsiders it is different it is something like that is out based on the which user the request is coming from which user that is also a di different the last case is the behavior control see based on the kind of a uh, behavior it is based on behavior also that kind of entry level checking will be different so something like see uh, again again let me take up this normal example itself again as usual so even though there is a even though the the student is belongs to the college because he is having id card but just because he is having id card you should not attempt for any misbehaving should not attempt for any misbehaving either with anybody it can be a security fellow or inside anywhere so even he will not be amid so he will be taken care in the different way by the firewall so like that based on the behavior by the authorized and also the unauthorized people 
authorized request or it can be unauthorized request but based on the behavior also there is a difference so in a, in this example i just put as a simple example here with respect to the emailing so emailing whether those emails which you are you are getting you even though you may be getting from the authenticated server or another unauthenticated server but what is the purpose of the email something like you know is it a kind of a spam emails spammer mails or not so all that such kind of based on behavior also there is a necessity of uh, verification on the controlling which has to be again taken care by the firewall so that's what the uh, uh, today session tomorrow uh, so in the next session in next session i'm going to take up this types of firewalls so today let me again elaborate so whatever i discussed so this is what the normal introduction to the uh, insecurity world with respect to the internet so and i came up with i gave the uh, simple definition of the firewalls and the working of it again the firewalls can be hardware firewalls or it can be software firewalls then i said the firewalls again in turn you can deal it as a host based or it can be a network based firewall again we came up with the firewall rules so which to allow which to block and which to be asked again what are all things which will be done by the firewall and which cannot be done by the firewall and uh, again design principles so there are three design principles and three aims of the firewall and three design goals of the firewalls so and finally four techniques which will be followed by the uh, firewall so that's what the end of today session so tomorrow let us take up the not tomorrow so in the next session we let's take up the types of firewalls so before i end up so any doubts guys yeah you can post me or you can ask me right now any doubts on this that on these topics whatever i will discuss today no doubt yeah guys anybody uh, anybody is having any doubts you can ask me yes sir